8.3 Day 3 Finding Volumes Using Shell Method As with anything, we run into a problem with volumes of certain functions. Example, find the volume of the region in the first quadrant bound by y equals negative x squared plus 4x when it is revolved around the y-axis. If we factor out an x in this, if we had y equals 4x minus x squared, then we would factor out an x and we have 4 minus x. But well, we'd have zeros of 0 and 4. So here we have a 0 of 0 and 4. And this is a parabola. So there's the parabola. A is negative, so the parabola is upside down. If we wanted to rotate this around the y-axis, we could have its reflection. And this is like the 180 degree turn. And if we rotated this around and then rotated this side around, the problem with doing a washer method on this is that this is the exact same function. We don't have two separate functions. So when we would do pi times big R squared minus pi times little r squared, these are, this is going to be the same thing because they're the same functions and all the answers are going to be zero. We have to come up with a different method for solving this one and it is called the shell method. Now let's look at a demonstration here. We have the same exact function right there, except graphed a little more. And we're going to take one side of a cylinder right here, add to some arbitrary x, and we're going to rotate that around the y-axis. We're going to revolve that around the y-axis, and we're going to create one cylinder. Now, if we took the area of that one cylinder, and then moved over a little bit, took the area of that cylinder, moved over a little bit, took the area of that cylinder. If we took the areas of all the cylinders we could make, we would get the volume. Now they're sweeping the shell. This represents all of the cylinders that we could possibly create and then take the area of them, add them all up, and that's the volume. Well, that's what integral does. It adds up all of those areas. Let's represent that. Let's represent just one shell or one cylinder. So there's the side of the cylinder. This would be the 180 degree turn right here. We're going to rotate this around right here. We're going to rotate this around. The lateral surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi rh and we need to integrate from 0 to 4. That's adding up all of the cylinders. We need 2 pi times we need the radius. Well, the radius goes from the y-axis to an arbitrary x value. That's going to be the length of the radius. So the radius is just x in this case. Then the height of the cylinder goes from the x-axis to the curve, which is really just the function value. So that's times 4x minus x squared dx. And there we have it. Now when we do the integration, we're going to find the volume of this shape when it's revolved around the y-axis. Let's pull out a 2 pi. We have integral from 0 to 4 of 4x squared minus x to the third dx. We have 2 pi uh, and then times 4 thirds x to the third minus 1 fourth x to the fourth. And we're evaluating from 0 to 4. We have 2 pi times, uh, we'll have 4 thirds times 64 minus 1 fourth times 256. And that's equal to 2 pi times uh, 256 over 3 minus 256 over 4. It's equal to 2 pi times 1024 over 12 minus 768 over 12 and that's equal to 2 pi times 256 over 12. The answer is 256 pi over 6 and then we can still reduce that. Uh, we have 128 over 3 pi. Find the volume of the solid defined by y equals sine of x from 0 to pi rotated around the line x equals negative 2. Let's graph sine from 0 to pi. So we have 0 to pi, and this is going to go up to 1, right in the middle, 
at pi over 2. So there's sine of x from 0 to pi. And we're going to rotate this around the line x equals negative 2. So here's negative 1, negative 2. So that's the line we're rotating this around. Let's get the 180 degree turn. Let's see, this point is 2 away, so let's go 2 away on the other side. And then we would go up to 1, and then here's pi reflected. So here is the 180 degree turn of sine. And then we're going to rotate one of these right there all the way around and make a cylinder. So rotate that around. I missed a little bit. And there is one cylinder. And we want the integral from 0 to pi of 2 pi rh dx. We have 0 to pi of 2 pi. The radius is from negative 2 to the arbitrary x that we've picked. And really it's going to be 2 and then We can always find the distance by taking the right side minus the left side. So this distance right here is going to be x. We have x and then minus negative 2. So really x plus 2. So if we pick some sort of x value, uh, we would take that x value and then we would add 2 onto it. So the radius is going to be x plus 2. And then the height of the cylinder is going to be sine of x. So we have sine of x dx. And now we can uh, use um, integration by parts, but really tabular method. We have x plus 2, 1, 0. And then we have sine of x, negative cosine of x, and negative sine of x. And then we have plus, and we have right here a minus. We have 2 pi times... Uh, x plus 2, and it's going to be negative cosine of x, and then plus sine of x from 0 to pi. That's equal to 2 pi times, we have uh, negative pi plus 2, negative pi plus 2, times the cosine of pi, which is negative 1, and plus 0. Then when we plug in 0, we get negative 2, negative 2 times 1, because the cosine of 0 is 1, and then plus 0. That's equal to 2 pi times, we have uh, positive pi plus 2, and then plus 2. So that's equal to 2 pi squared, these two will make 4, and then we have plus 8 pi.